Welcome to an example on solving a problem involving the perimeter of a rectangle. Your pool is 15 foot wide and 20 foot long with a 3 foot wide deck surrounding it. You want to build a fence around the deck. How much, how much fencing will you need? So the question we're going to answer is how much fencing do we need to go around the perimeter of the decking of this swimming pool? We start off knowing that it is 15 foot wide, so the shorter length of the pool is 15 foot, or 15 feet, I should say. We know that the longer side, or the length, is going to be 20 feet. And we know this area here, this white area, represents the decking, and it's 3 foot wide. So we know that's going to be an additional 3 foot at the end of each edge of the pool. And that goes all the way around. So when we go to find the width of the fencing, we have to realize that from here to here is a three foot. And it's three foot over here. And then in between those three foot, it is 15 foot from here to here. So the total width is found by adding the width of the decking to the width of the pool, which in this case would give 21 feet. You think of the length in a similar manner, that from this corner to this corner is 3 foot, or 3 feet, and from this corner down here to this corner down here is 3 feet, and the section in the middle measures 20 feet. So we add those together to find the width, or I'm sorry, the length of the fencing. 20 plus 3 plus 3 gives 26 feet. So we apply the perimeter formula. Perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We substitute the values in we calculated, the length being 26 feet, so 2 times 26 feet, plus 2 times the width, which is 21 feet. If you want, you could use a calculator, or you could do some quick mental math. 2 times 26 feet will get 52 feet. We'll need to add that to 2 times 21 feet, which gives 42 feet. And then add those two lengths together. Give you a total of 94 feet. So you'll need 94 feet of fencing. Remember when working with the perimeter, you need to know the total length and the total width of the object you're trying to find the perimeter of. This has been Mr. Pi. And I hope you've enjoyed your lesson today.